I'm in my mansion's uh, grand library, my second home. Uh, actually, no, I'm in a hotel room. I'm in a hotel. They let me use the library. And um, upstairs, if, if I was in my actual room, you would have been able to see my bed and my toilet in the shot. So I asked them if I could use this room, which was actually closed to the public. They said, no, you can't use it. So Henry, I name dropped and I got myself into here. I said, Henry Winkler, I need to talk to him. So that's how I got into this room. This is what my hands look like, no joke. See the little like nub on my finger? Dan, do you have one of those? A little yeah. nub on your finger? I don't, you should see a doctor. I should see a doctor. <laughs> Maybe look at those things. I'm gonna lose the finger. Well, my first review that I got, and a lot of, a lot of the SCBWI attendees are gonna, <laughs> They got to know this, but don't tell anybody. Keep this between us. <laughs> the first review I got for the crossover was an Amazon um, review, and it had two words in the review. The, re the words were, well, actually, it was three words. This book sucks. Oh. <laughs> John and I work a little bit unusually in that uh, we were friends before we started uh, making books together. We're not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's the unusual trajectory of That's our- That's the unusual part. Yeah. <laughs> what is it you're drinking, Arthur? Oh, it's a caffeine-free Diet Coke, Lynn. Oh, so I am going to hand over the conversation to Brooke Sherman. Can't wait to hear what he has to say as well. Oh, I see a baby. <laughs> Everyone, um, apologies. Uh, my work from home assistant has joined me uh, because uh, my wife and I thought uh, what would be more fun than uh, quarantining in New York City than pandemic, uh, why don't we have our first child too? Um, so I'm just gonna put in ear pods so he doesn't. Grace. <laughs> I would say uh, what are what are some things I usually honestly um, I write the first thing that comes to my head and if it doesn't work then I try another way <laughs> if it doesn't work try another way I, I don't really have a really good tip except try them all and see which one works the best so it's very important to read it out loud and even more important it's it's to get somebody else to read it out loud to you while you have a copy of it and you're busy taking out that word and that word and that word because when they're reading it, they read it with a different emphasis on the wrong syllable. Um, and, and so you're taking it out here and you're taking it out there and pretty soon, you know, you've, you've compressed it. You've compressed it a lot. Excellent, good answer. I was the kid in class when they were like, all right, we're gonna do outlines. I need you to outline your story. I would be so confused and be like, you mean to tell me I gotta do work before I do work? I can't read books written in the present tense. The implausibility barrier is just too high. I can't believe that this character is A, running down the road, B, writing about it, and C, seven years old. No, not possible. <laughs> I'm just so happy that people learned how to pronounce my middle name, Halts. <laughs> what did they used to say? Halsey. 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 Um, and, and I actually kept my, that's my maiden name, I kept it in my, my early books and all, throughout my career, in part because I'm still that hurt kid from middle school. And I want those people who were rude to me and meanies to know that they should have been nicer. Yeah. This is why we're children's book writers. <laughs> Bitterness. Take that. You know, everything, everything. I, I love, I can't, you know, I love being able to create out of my head. I find that really rewarding. I love the end of the day when the writing has been really good. I love the books I've created. I, I'm not ashamed of any of them. I love <laughs> um, the impact they have on the world. I love that I can write in my pajamas, that I can, you know, be home um, with my kids sometimes. <laughs> um, you know, there's so much about it that I, 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 c I can't imagine doing anything else. Uh, you know, I, I feel like it's the reason I wear a helmet when I ride a bike, right? It's like, I, I, I love my head. I, I want it to be okay. By the way, if you ever take a class in writing and you find yourself with a teacher, professor who is not supportive, get out of that class. Right. Don't be there. Don't be in a class 
where other students can be mean or, or the teacher professor can be mean, you do not want to be there. You only want to be in a supportive atmosphere. I think that's really important. Uh, and I would just like to say to everybody who is watching, I wish you only healthy thoughts.